Southampton players are for loan. No interest in joining a club on loan. You know this character for? Have you changed your mind yet? Jack Stevens. Centre back. Don't need centre backs. Uh, Sam McQueen. Winger. Would be a very. Would want to come on loan. Okay. And anyone down here? Reda Johnson. Yeah, we know you're good, but we also know that you don't want to come. Maybe you do now. Oh, for Christ's sake. Henderson has snubbed Plymouth, but you agree? Okay. Oh, we need to find another goalkeeper now. This is getting silly. Scouting, where's my shortlist? Um, position. Goalkeeper, who do we have? We have... Can't get you. Jamie Jones of Preston. You're next on the list. You are pretty good, not very eccentric. Not great first touch or good at free kick taking, but handling kicking. You're pretty good. Or you are not likely to be able to loan, are you? Because you're in the first team squad. Ooh. Oh dear. Wage budget available. £461. Really? Okay. Uh, what do you reckon I'd be available for? 130 to 275. So, uh, he's not very fast, but he's better than McCormick. Okay. You're section 130, do you? He's quite low, but we'll start there. I'm guessing the striker I'm in offer four isn't going to come either, which I'm kind of hopeful that it's kind of break the bank for him, or potentially. And now straight into the Capital One Cup against uh, Bristol Rovers at home. Should be able to do this. Uh, I've done another load of scouting. Let's see if anyone will come to me, because it appears that I just nobody wants to come. Nobody wants to join little old Plymouth. Now we're in the championship, which is frustrating. But we'll get somebody in, hopefully. Uh, we are playing anyway, yeah, Capital One Cup. Uh, Tudor Jones, so you go in there. Need to rest some players, but don't really have the squad size at the moment to do that. Uh, Liam Kelly. Uh, Lee Cox. Yeah. Uh, River I can go. You are uh, Jake Miller. On the left, we will go... Alessandra. Lovely. Up top we'll go Hope. And Canos there. The back. Peter Hartley wants to play, so you can go in instead of Carl McHugh. And you instead of you. And I can't rest McCormick because I don't have anybody else at all to play in goal. Hopefully this um guy from Preston will come. Hopefully. I made a, bit, a new bid of, uh, who was it? Somebody. Uh, 200,000 200, for him. They wanted 225, so maybe 200 will get him. Uh, I've given up on the idea that this foreigner is going to come. The striker, he's not going to come. I don't reckon, because he's got better offers from better clubs in his home country. So, with favourites, I expect nothing but a win. So we'll see. But fingers crossed, something will happen. I'm saying youngsters in this match, so... Although Miller had a fantastic pre-season. I mean, really good. In one match he scored two goals, including a screamer from about 25 yards. Really quite impressive. Parrington. Now, there's got to be some midfield in there, please. Although you decided not to have one. That's fine, that's fine. Just let them come. Uh, win the ball, well done. And again, no midfield. Not only pace, that's 
probably the problem. Okay, Parrington, nicely to McCormick. McCormick, don't go long. You don't need to go long. There's no need to go long. That's good. Now, down the line to Canos. Nice. Inside. Inside. Okay, take him on. Take him on. All the way. And then put a good ball in for Hallam Hoop. Can you? It is a good ball. And it's Lee Cox. Nice. Good good um, assist by Canos. Maybe he's a good signing. One of the few signings actually managed to make. One of the few people that's actually come. Uh, it's getting quite frustrating. But I don't need new wingers anymore. Because I've got them. I could do with another midfielder. I could do with another striker. That and a goalkeeper is a must. An absolute must. Oh, it's a good ball in. And Canos has scored. 2 0 after just 11 minutes. Nice. Uh, what league are Bristol Rovers in? They must be in League 2. Because I seem to remember them being shit. Oh, Lee Cox taking a knock. Fantastic. Just where I don't need people to be injured in midfield. Canos is quite low on fitness as well. Again, fantastic. Is that Ray Houghton? No, he must be about 50 by now. Or 60. Jack Houghton. Jordan Houghton. 20-year-old Englishman. Isn't very good, but he's very fit. Go on, Hope. Somebody in there? Somebody in there? Yes. Now find somebody. Okay, go at Parrington. That's fine. Now come across to Allen. Down to Miller. Almost. But Miller should be able to deal with that. Back to Allen. To Canos, nicely to Cox, to Miller, back to Allen, Allen, to Miller, Miller to Canos, three ball to Hope, Hope should have scored really, but he's put the ball back to Alessandro, who's got a corner out of it, so not bad, they haven't had a shot yet, we are all over them, this could be quite a good win for us, to get a little bit, a little bit of confidence running through the team before we play Birmingham in the next match. Uh, Lee Cox got up to 70, that's okay. Jake Miller's now taking the knock, fantastic. Lee Cox down to 67. Even better. Why does this game hate me so much at the moment? Shorter players, let's injure or take, have everyone and take knocks. Oh, well done, Chaos. Nicely done. To Miller. To Cox. Cox. Oh, back to Alan. To Miller. Good ball to Hope. Oh, you've got to score from there. Got to get it on target from there. But he didn't. Never mind. <coughs> and. Huh. Very happy. Keep it going. Keep it going. I want to take Cox off and put. Which one's best? Probably Scott Allen. Is the least knackered. Parrington to Allen. To Parrington. To Allen. Oh, to Miller. Miller finds... Can you find anyone? You find Canos. Canos to Allen. Allen with the shot. Allen with the goal. Poor goalkeeping there by Scott Brown. Yes, Scott Brown. Not that Scott Brown. Because he is a midfielder. But a Scott Brown. Nice goal. But yeah, it wasn't the greatest of shots. I didn't say poor positioning from the goalkeeper. Maybe he just wasn't expecting it. 3-0. We can... Uh, much lower tempo. Let's just slow this down. Stop people getting knackered. Uh, who else? Palom Hope. Okay. Don't really want to bring you on, but I don't think I have a choice. 87. I'll leave Kelly's at 86. There we go. We're just taking taking everything out of the match now. We have won 3 0. So there's no point in pushing it. Especially we've got another match coming up quite soon. Uh oh, Reading are beating Dagnan Redbridge. Fraser Campbell scored. Paul Vale are losing to Birmingham. Solomon Otterbor. Gilby. Ah, oh, Gilby. Oh, Wolves are drawing with Oxford. That's pretty bad. Uh, Blackpool are beating Morecambe. Are they actually going on my match? Yeovil beating Peterborough. That's good, having Peterborough out of the um, cup. Because, you know, they're going to beat me. 
because they're Peterborough. And Oldham have beaten Preston. Fantastic. Good. Very, very nice victory. Well done. Great performance by Canos. Razor Campbell is up there. I'm happy. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Castle One Cup. First round. I think we need to get to the second round, so we've done that. Campbell makes his debut. How good is he? Oh, he's actually quite good. And now for the draw. Who have we got? Who do we want? Oh, we've got big teams in here now, haven't we? Yeah. No, some of them. Tottenham. No Uniteds or Cities because they come in the third round if they're in Europe, if I remember correctly. Uh, West Brom, that'll do. Reading? No, we play them anyway. Uh, Villa? Yeah, that'll do. Tranmere? Yes. Blackpool? Okay. Uh, Wimbledon? Oh, yes, please. Fleetwood? Uh, yes. Uh, Yeovil? Okay. Oxford? Definitely. <sighs> Millwall? No, boring. Stoke? No, boring. Oh, Stoke. I mean, look at Stoke. They got Aaron Cole on loan from Tottenham. He went to Tottenham, did he? I might remember that. But look at that. They've got like Bojan, Mama, Biram, Juf. Although they are looking like they're going, they're selling and having to sell a lot. He's under a bid from uh, Brighton and Crystal. Uh, Brighton. Bojan is wanted by Levante. Jean, this guy is wanted by Brighton, FCP, and uh, Norwich. Arnautovic is wanted by Wolfsburg. He's worth 45 million. So maybe they're not in such a great place. Norwich want. Okay. Very good players, but they want to go. Right, who we got? Ben Watson. Very interested in joining our club on loan. Would probably ask for too much in wages. What would you ask for in loan? I could afford him transfer fee wise, but probably not if I've got um if I get a goalkeeper in. Okay. Dalorglo three and a half to four. Good. We have a three to five. He is oh, he's pretty good. Might be worth it. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep an eye on him. Mungo. I just like his name, but he's not very good. Uh, Perpetuini. Uh, isn't very good. Grant. Isn't very good. Bustat. Sign whatever the price. You do like him. But I'm just not getting enough information about him. He is transfer listed. So, oh, do you reckon I should... Take a punt, maybe. Cameron Jerome will be available for 72, but I cannot afford his wages. Albrighton will be available for 91, but cannot afford his wages. he has been an amazing signing for me. This is for loan. I wonder how much I want on loan. Uh, interesting in joining club, very interesting in joining club on loan. Fairly loyal, determined, better than what I've got. Okay. Present, percent, it's a striker, two and a half, no. Flores, no. No. Oh. Jurich went to Livorno. That's a shame. I knew I wouldn't get him anyway. We'll see what we get with the goalkeeper. Once that's done, we'll see what we've got left. For other stuff. Maybe Ooh, somebody interesting. Jones. Ah, oh, yeah, he wants... Okay, I'll be three. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Domestic clubs in a higher division, eight two five. No, he's going to sign him, so I can do that. Avoid relegation from the championship. Excludes current season. Fantastic. Uh, so you no, know, how about that? Three point six. Three point three. There we go. Hopefully we've signed ourselves a goalkeeper who looks very happy, which is always good. Finally, I have got a goalkeeper. Finally, 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 finally. So I now have two goalkeepers. Wow. 
two good goalkeepers as well. I don't rate McCormick at all. But four stars. Good. Oh, uh, you probably won't be able to start this match, which I'm not going to show because we're going to do the Watford match. So there we go. Oh, and now that match against John Terry's Watford. Oh, hello. I must have known that. He's been in the job for a long time. We lost against Birmingham 0 1. 1 0, however you want to read it. Uh, it wasn't a great match. We had more possession, but we just could not get the ball in that back of that net. Uh, Watford are doing fairly well in ninth. I'm not doing very well at all. What are we going for? Well, what do you want to do? Probably Hartley. No. Maybe Hartley in for McHugh, and then McHugh in for Toffolo, and then leave the rest the same. Yeah. Uh, River Round can stay in there. Scott Allen can stay there. Liam Kay's a bit knackered, so Cox can come in. Uh, Banton. Oh, I like this guy more. There we go. How about that? How about that? Let's see what we can do with this. We are up to 10th place. Or I could go bottom. I think going bottom is more likely. We'll see what we can do. They got oh, look at that. They got Jack Cole back. Uh, Sean Murray, Puddle, Sonogo, Fabrini. I ha I just cannot compete. I just cannot compete with these teams. Pressure's on the opposition. Yes. Go out there and impress people. Come on. You're a team of League 1 and League 2 players playing in the Championship. Let's go out and impress people and show that we're not shit. We're actually fairly good. What an Alan. It's a good, good hoof. Okay, they're coming back. That's not ideal. Murray to Anya. Anya, right past. Well done, Alan. No, that was a good tackle. And now we're going to score within a minute from uh, Diego Fabrini's free kick. No, no, not because that was really bad. See if we can get oh, love, just a point. A point to get something on the board would be fantastic. Uh, Middlesbrough drawn with Cardiff. They've had five shots. We've had none. That's fine. They haven't scored yet. That all might be about to change. Oh no, Cox! Don't don't do anything silly, Kennedy! Don't do anything silly. Down the line. Oh, that's a that that counts as silly because now you're giving it back and call back to Fabrini, out wide to Puddle, into Sonogo. Sonogo scores because McCormick couldn't save anything because he's rubbish, absolutely rubbish. Sonogo is that is he on loan? No, he's actually there. Oh, didn't do very well at Arsenal then. He's never going to because he's not that good. Stoke, Ipswich, Brentford, Watford. Oh, let's get a goal. Good ball in now. It's not. But, no, it's not. Tom River. Back to Hartley. Don't think silly. To Nelson. Back to Hartley. Don't think silly. McHugh. Lovely. Down the ball to line to Candy. Candy. Good ball to Cox. Cox. Chips it neatly into Heaton's hands. Lovely pass to the goalkeeper. Catching practice. We've got to do better. We, we kept opportunities. We've got to take them because we're not going to create many. Are we? No. Oh, Adebayor. Adebayor is in this league. Jesus Christ. How am I supposed to cope? I don't have Adebayor. I don't have Joe Mason. I don't have any of these players. Unlucky. Um, yeah. yeah, you have been unlucky. You've not done too bad. We'll keep the same for maybe 10 minutes and oh, maybe we have to go a little bit more attacking. Try and get a goal. Because we've not been bad. In fact, we've had more of the ball. So, uh, well, they've got two goals. Because, as ever, McCormick can't do anything. The oh, sooner my new goalkeeper gets fit, the better. Now there's no point in going more attacking because they're not going to get two. But we are going to put you on. We are going to put you on. Just, you know, fitness. Mow it. He's supposed to be very good. 
Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> wow. He's definitely very good. I don't actually look at his stats. I just know that he's supposed to be one of the next big things. And I would agree. Uh, Huddersfield beating Wigan. Oh, okay. Bournemouth are still losing. Which is good because they're below us. Are they? Well, they were. Yeah, there's probably anything keeping us not bottom. Uh, Reading are also doing pretty poorly. Don't know any point in having this on here because I'm not going to be appearing on it anytime soon. Um, <sighs> O'Connor is a match for match practice. Words. Talk. Uh, match practice. Uh, Lee Catamo. James Linningham. Oh, Lee, oh, what a shitty goalkeeper. Absolutely pathetic idiot that guy is. He was the referee in the Reading Norwich match over Christmas, where he allowed a. Oh, I just can't even begin to comprehend his decision making process. Apart from the fact he is a dickhead. Uh, preview performance? Well, I am actually. Uh, Jay Doherty. Hmm. Who are you? Left back. Any good? Hmm, not really. Okay. I was so close to rage quitting in this match. So close. Because this is just absurd. I. Seriously, this game hates me at the moment. What have I done to deserve this? Look, I made my last substitution on the 78th minute. Then Jason Banton gets injured, so I'm down to 10 men. Fine. I've had 8 shots on target. Middlesbrough had none. Then, Sean Long gets injured. I'm down to 9 men. Fine. I still They still haven't had a shot on target. They're shit. Then, Hallam Hope gets injured. So I'm down to 8 men. 8 men. And Middlesbrough score with their only shot on target in the 93rd fucking minute. Seriously, game. What? Why? Why do this to me here? What have I done? 19 shots to 11. 62% possession to 38. 8 shots to 1. 3 fucking injuries in the last 10 minutes to put me down to 8 men. I am not happy. And if I had a fairly recent save, I would have quit because that was just not. That's not right. That is just. I haven't even seen what that's done to my squad because I don't have a very big squad. And now 3. Fairly key players, potentially out injured, probably for months, knowing my luck. I've lost all four matches now. I've scored one goal. I'd, how I didn't score in this match. My God, my strikers were missing easy chances. Oh, this is... I mm, To say I'm angry is, is an understatement. Let's see what the damage is. Uh, at least two of them are injured. Um... Four weeks, six or eight days isn't too bad. Four weeks is pretty bad, but at least I have uh, O'Connor or Mella. So that's not, not terrible. But could have been better. Oh, Rory Donnelly, why am I getting... Oh, he's quite good. Did I try and sign him once? Probably. Luke McCormick's 250th appearance. Uh, great achievement. Uh, losing it today is pretty hard. Don't think how long... Um, after to squad is strong. No, I've changed your thing. Very bad one. Yes, I mean seriously, we're screwed now. Totally screwed. I, I don't I don't know what to do. So let's see if we can get over that terrible, terrible result against Millsbury. I'm still angry about angry, frustrated. Shouldn't happen like that. Grr, this game. Uh, with a Capital One Cup match against uh, Stoke, who are in the same league as me. And I just... I feel I need to check something. Stoke. Uh, who? Somebody like, say, Robert Huth. Paying 28 grand a week. Um, Arnautovic, 28 grand a week. Who are Who's their highest paid player? I have a feeling they're going to have somebody in here who's paid more than my entire... Team. Not him. Oh, maybe not. 
12. Okay, that's actually quite reasonable. Shawcross. There we go. Ryan Shawcross, a player in the same league as me, gets paid more than my entire team. This is what I'm fighting against. This is what I'm fighting and God knows how I'm going to get anywhere, to be honest. It's just ridiculous. Uh, Sean Long's injured, so Mella. Uh, and um, Hartley. Parrington in there. Ooh, a bit low on players, really. Who put the right? Put uh, Canos in from the start. Really want to, but don't think I have much choice. The rest say the same. Can we get Jamie Jones in? We probably can for his first match for me. Uh, and he will get the number one. Because he is my number one. So let's let's go and um, probably lose against Stoke. Largely matched my minimum expectations. Absence of Sean Long is sure to be felt. Uh, we've looked good in training. We might. You never know. Uh, encourage. Yeah, let's encourage. Just try and pick up something. Get going somehow. Because, you know, it's not going well this season. It was never going to go well this season, but it could have... Would have been nice if it started a little bit better. Oh, maybe I could put Parrington on instead of Toffolo. You know, from the start. Never mind. He can come on midway through the match. Uh, Bristol City, Lewis Alberto. Don't know why I mentioned that. Yeah, just, just happened. Oh, Leo Alita's playing for Carlisle. He scored. Berahino is uh, scoring for West Bromwich Album. Sonogo's on loan. Or is he signed? At Watford. All these players playing in the same league as me. Uh, Lewis Holtby, that's not in the same league as me. There's How am I supposed to compete? Uh, Bradley Johnson, yellow card. This has been really quite dull, hasn't it? Bradley Johnson's gone to Stoke. Ah. Huh. Uh, Corrington Jean is offside. Sergio, Sergi Canos is offside. This has just been offside. Ungoy, offside. Hey, Jack Stacey scored for Reading. Uh, you're doing well, keep it up. Yeah, may as well. Not much else we can say. <laughs> Nothing's happened. Do we have a highlight? I don't think we did. Oh, hello, Aaron. Meet all your other Reading ex Reddit Reading ex Reading teammates because I have lots of Reading players on my books because they're people I know. So I don't have to do much scouting. I know who's good from Reading. Uh Anatovich is on. Oh he's quite good. Uh yeah, McHugh's probably gonna come off. Probably for Purrington. Uh Alan for Kelly. We'll do that now. Q for Purrington. Alan for Kelly haven't got anything else to change because I'm running out of players which is not ideal was even Kelly actually injured injured suggests he came off because of injury uh, oh Portsmouth have we closed Swansea and out of it she's offside again I don't want this to go to extra time but it looks like it might be going that way Let's go for it. We're either going to win or we're going to lose. I do not want to draw because I'm struggling enough for matches as it is. Aaron Cool to Stephen and Zonzi to Shenton to Arnautovic. Straight at Jones. Straight at Jones. Connor Cody has scored for Huddersfield. Freck Shade's offside. There's so many offsides in this match. Jeff Cameron's offside. Alan to Cox, to Canos, go right, nicely done, Mella, and again, now you've gone inside, that's okay, to Kennedy, Kennedy, this is where you normally score from, but you've shot straight at Butland, oh, Portsmouth are beating Swansea now, uh, Jack Watmore has scored, I'm paying more attention to the other matches because there's bugger all going on in mine, come on, uh, River Island's knackered, might have to make a change, oh, straight at Jones, he can hold on to the ball. All the most um, other players we have to do. Uh, O'Connor. Be the anchor man that I need. I haven't got any. Oh, this is terrible. Made all my substitutions. This is where I get three injuries and end up with eight players. Come on. I've only had one shot on target. They've had seven. They haven't scored. 
And we're gonna go to extra time. No, I didn't want this. This is the last thing I wanted. Shield Downing scored against Rochdale. Is that another offside? Right. Good pass. Good ball to Kennedy. Kennedy, take your man on. Take him on. No, okay, it's fine. You kept the ball going. That's okay. Nelson, you've given that away to Shea. Uh, Aaron Cool is through. Can he find somebody? He can find the goal. I'm not too disappointed about that, to be honest. Spurs are 6 1 against Brentford. To lose against Stoke in the 90th minute is galling, but realistically, no extra time. Makes me very happy. Ruben Reed's offside. Dear God. And that's it. 1 0 is not terrible. Especially if it's away. Oh, well done, Nelson. You're covering there. Toffolo, Kennedy, don't score. Do not get an equaliser. Don't do not do it to me. Alan. Uh, okay. Oh, Scott Sinclair is playing for Fulham. Can't fault your effort. Yeah, well done. Well done indeed. 